Hey, this is Josh with New Review coming at you with a new review of the Spike Transplant series uh, Shinar Chronicle Season 2 trailer, uh, which just dropped six days ago and I didn't notice. Uh, um, so anyways, um, Shinar Chronicles, uh, based on a book series of the same name, uh, written originally in the 1970s and 80s, uh, and been continued to write in that universe ever since. Um, following uh, a young man named Will, Will Almsford, who's a uh, half-elf, half-human. Um, and uh, the first season, it followed them trying to stop the rise of uh, a demon lord who was a former druid who in their world is their magic user uh, what was his name? God, it's been a while since I've seen it um, took a while for them to uh, the Dagdemore yeah uh, uh, a druid named the Dagdemore and his demon army after the as the Elkrees, a magical tree, is starting to die, and it takes place a thousand years in the future or so, um, uh, in the Four Lands, which is basically the, what we would consider, what we knew as the no, would know as the Pacific Northwest, um, and this series. A uh, season focused primarily in Elven lands. I mean, humans did appear. There was a human rover band led by a man named Cephalo. Uh, one of the main characters was named Eritrea, and she was human. Will, obviously, half human. Um, Amberly, uh, one of the main characters, uh, an elf. But a good number of the original cast were uh, elves. Um, the uh, the Druid Alanon was made, played by uh, Manu Bennett of uh, uh, Arrow fame. Um, and it was a really good first season. Uh, I think it was well paced, well structured. Um, they did the, and it seemed like they were trying to be Game of Thrones esque uh, for the. Uh, uh, granted, it was on MTV originally, and they couldn't do the same things that. Uh, um, HBO could, uh, but they did a lot that as much as they could, and it was really interesting, written, well acted, well directed, um, and the fight scenes uh, were well choreographed. However, not as medieval esque as they could have been. Um, you know, but of course, this is a fantasy that takes place in the future, yet with older technology. Anyways. Um, now this season, uh, it's introducing new characters, it's expanding the universe, it's introducing in, uh, more human characters, um, and uh, actually a character that they introduced last season who turned into a villain closer to the end, uh, named Bandon, he's uh, taking on a bigger role, uh, and there's all, they're also exploring the reintroduction of magic because there, will, there hadn't been magic for decades. Uh, and a lot of people thought magic was dead. Um, and I really think this is an interesting um, step. This will be an interesting step forward for them for the rest of the series. Um, they're bringing in a lot of new actors. Uh, one of them, Melise Chow, who was on uh, Flash for a while. Um, and a few other actors to round out this expanded universe. Um, I'm excited. It premieres October 11th on Spike, and I look forward to seeing how things go from here. This is Joshua with New Review, signing off.